Look, a new terrifying use for duct tape. Ugh. Isn't that magical? <laughs> Yo, what up, Stash Nation? Loki here, coming at you with uh, a guide on how to make cool masks. Now, the cool is in parentheses, because uh, let me preface this by saying cool is an opinion, man. <laughs> I think this one's cool. That's one of my favorites. That's just the strinch with the uh, the money wrap pattern. Um, but again, so <laughs> cool's in the eye of the beholder, man. I don't don't light up the comments with with uh, oh dash no my stupid stupid. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's it's subjective, man. Some of these are pre-made, of course. I, I like them. That one's funny. I got ideas for them. I just got to get the right stuff. I used to have some cool masks, but of course that's uh oh. Now I can't the technical pattern or whatever you you, you know the reservoir dogs and the uh, the you know the funky TV pattern oh tricky dick anyway let's uh, let's get into this we'll start I'll just give these a look through try to find a more basic mask something we can work with this kind of a canvas that sort of thing ooh I think I think I'm gonna make something out of that one eventually sometime during the course of this video. But, uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Just go with that mannequin, Mr. Mannequin face here. Again, it won't be hard for you to translate in your mind, um, you know, into, like, a hockey mask or a dripper or whatever you want to do. But I like to start off with patterns, or, I'm sorry, uh, materials. Just kind of, uh, you know, look at each one and get a feel for the way, you know, uh, it, it just kind of looks some the contours or whatever the light and you know what have you it, it makes a difference I'll probably end up using this on this to reconstruct a mask I used to have before uh, I lost all my data but that's a story for another time anyway the second thing I do like you saw is just pick a contrasting color and then uh, just go snooping through the patterns well, that's kinda cool um again so I'll get something that <clears throat> kind of stands out more color palette wise but you can just you can see the method there you go material and then uh you know it's, it seems kind of backwards to go to the pattern like that but or I'm, I'm sorry but the color first and then pattern but you see how that works so that's that's kind of cool and again you can you can play with this stuff oh there we go that's really cool it's like Hannibal <laughs> Strike fear into the heart of my enemies before I eat their face with fava beans and a nice Chianti. Now, I know you expected me to make the noise, but I don't know if I can do it, right? I know I can do it, but it doesn't work on every single time, and I don't want to make an idiot out of myself. Ha <laughs> ha! And some more mask ideas, that's kind of cool. Um, for some reason, it's, I know it's making me think of Magneto. I know that's supposed to be the Fet, but that's a, you know, again. Alright, so let's, uh try a different mask here's a cool one this one's got a lot of uh surface area so try like that looks cool man that carbon fiber or whatever it is yeah carbon fiber again you get to play with the surface area so go ahead and uh, this is what i would this is why i like to uh, kind of stockpile my uh materials and stuff and get picky before i actually make the mask because you get to you know, make sure you utilize. Sometimes it's tough to get more than one of these things. It takes a while, so we'll go ahead and again color first, because if you pick a pattern, it won't matter if you don't have a color. And again, we'll go with something that just. There we go. That's how you terrify the enemy. <laughs> Could be a Valentine's Day special mask or so. That's kind of cool. Again, I, I'd change the color. Uh, I don't. I wouldn't want to do that. That's kind of cool. Uh, again, I, I the color is just for so you guys can see oh murder fly terrifying stupefying murder fly Let's see, oh, that's cool that is kinda cool I mean obviously we changed the color I'm just using this for you know a comparison but uh, pretty cool what else we got here let's try a different color yeah that's that's you know again it, it just utilizing so much extra surface area so let's go with all right so here's an infamous this is a cool one I, yeah, I'm sure you, you see a lot of these and again you can file this one under public service announcement too because 
some of your bros masks not you, you bros but you guys if you're out there I'm sure you've seen some noobs running around and they're just wearing what I like to call a soup sandwich just a hot friggin mess right on top of their face I, I mean take some pride in your mask you know what I mean <laughs> so that's not again that's why we, we tried things that's nothing that's okay that's kinda cool that's kinda cool just uh, flip flop try different things try different colors and then, uh, let's see, what were we gonna do again? Let's look through here. Let's see. Some of these are just friggin' wild. Just wild. But I was thinking of making... Yeah, there it is, the nun. Let's make a nun. I like the nun mask. I've always wanted to kind of mess around with one of these. So let's walk through a full detailed... I will finalize this mask and everything. So just with what I have... Here's exactly how I, I go about it. I check each and every one pretty methodically, because I want to, oh, that's kind of cool. Because I, I want to, again, I just want to see, you know, I wish you could do this with your guns, too. I like that. I'm probably going to end up using that. <clears throat> I, I wish you could do this with your guns. I don't understand why you can't, you know, customize the look of your gun. Anyway, all right. I like that. I like that carapace. Oh, that's kind of cool, too. That's kind of cool. They're all kind of cool. That's kind of cool. But that's also, it's not... I want, a, like, a sinister nun. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to go with something kind of gnarly. So, uh, I'll go with the carapace. I do like that the most. And then, again, let's pick a color that gives us a little bit of a, a, a contrast between the two elements. No. No. I mean, they're cool, but they're kind of, everything's too busy for me so far. I wanna, that was weird. <laughs> Looks too much like a wrestler or something like that. Oh, that was cool. Did you see that? That was really cool. Yeah, I like that. I'm probably gonna end up using that. Like that sinister nun look. I really like that. All right, well, just for the sake of, this is exactly what I would do anyway, even though, oh, that's cool. But it kind of wipes out the the metallic face. Alright, let's see what else we got here. I don't think I'm gonna find something cooler than... <laughs> oh, murder fly! I don't think I'm gonna find something cooler than, uh... The... Oh, jeez. Oh, that is gnarly. But I still... I like the Reaper one better. That's kinda cool, but it's too busy. Too much going on. People gotta be able to see it. Hmm. Patriot Nun. Let's see. So, yeah, I like that one. I do like that. So, uh, let's see if we can find a cooler color. Oh, yeah. That's, that's awesome. I bet y'all go with that. I mean, I'll look through these methodically, but I... You... I... They kind of just speak to me, you know, when I'm... That's it, you know what I mean? I just kind of feel it, but... You guys might see one. Tell me what you guys, if you guys have any tweaks to your process. Go ahead and throw them in the comments. Let me know what you think. That's, I don't know, a little too pink for me. Uh, what else do we got? That's kind of cool. But again, I don't, you lose the shading in the eyes. But at least you can still see the, the metallic part of the face. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stick with that. That's pretty cool. I do like that. So, again, I'll, I'll go back through the materials. And, and, and this is what I would do. Oh, that's kind of cool. If, uh... This is what I, this is my full process, just to show you guys, you know, you can make these masks on your, that's kind of cool too. Uh, I don't know, I don't know, oh, no, nah, I don't like the schnoz. Try to find something a little, ooh, that's creepy, but nah, it's too cartoony, you know what I mean? Like it, eh, I want to contrast better. Ooh, oh, that's cool, kind of cool kind of cool yeah I don't know I don't know that's pretty cool and my again cool is is an opinion man <laughs> um yeah just seeing carapace again quick there kind of makes me think I was right all along <laughs> oh, that's that's sweet dude but is it sweet enough that's the question is it worth committing you know, what could be your one and only material, pattern, color, mask, what have you. Too shiny. Too shiny. Carapace. Yeah, dude. That's awesome. 
I'm gonna go with that. That is a gnarly nun. That is the sinister nun. Anyway, man, um, that's kind of my whole detailed process, how I make each and every one of my masks. I hope this, uh, kind of gave you a little insight. Maybe, uh, maybe it's all review. Maybe, maybe you learned something. Maybe it helped you out, man. Uh, if it did, uh, please throw me a like, something like that. Sub helps me out. Help me build the channel. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. But, uh, yeah, dude, uh, just, as always, uh, love you, bro, brotato chips, <laughs> and, uh, thanks for watching, man, I really do appreciate it, and, uh, again, as always, man, I'll, I'll uh, I'll catch you in the next video, man.